even in these difficult economic times, our clients still find it very difficult to find quality candidates that they are prepared to hire. We would like to think that people are just sticking out there, you know, hanging around the telephone booth waiting for the phone call, but the fact of the matter is most of us have very, very specific needs and it's hard to find candidates that really do fit the bill. But every once in a while, you find two. And the question becomes, what steps can you take when you really have two quality candidates? And that was a dilemma that one of our clients was facing. And it was a position for sales, and they had two candidates, had two very different personality profiles. Both of them could certainly be very effective in sales, but their situations were very different. One person had been out of work for a while, had taken a bit of a sabbatical to deal with some family-related issues, which is not at all unusual, and the other person was gainfully employed, working for a competitor, and uh, was being recruited by them, so to speak. Well, the first candidate was going full speed, all out, to get the job. And anything that needed to be done as part of the interview process, they really went overboard and did everything perfectly. The other candidate, who was gainfully employed, didn't put nearly as much time into the effort. And as a result, when it came to presentations and follow-up, they really didn't measure up at the same level. But the client understood why. So we talked about it, and I made a recommendation, and that is to let both of them know that there is competition for the position, and to let them know what your concern is, in each case and give them a chance to see how they would respond and how they would deal with that situation. Because after all, for salespeople, this is going to be a natural evolution. And this is an opportunity for you to have evidence of their behavior. And you might likely say, well, the person who's gainfully employed, well, they're not going to put in the same effort. And the person who is unemployed is really going to knock themselves out. But the true nature of a competitor will come through when they realize a position that they say they want is on the line. So, the moral of this story is, Give your candidates a chance to compete and pay close attention to how they deal with it because the way they deal with that competition will be very much the way they deal with working for you. Thanks for your attention.